I think it's pathetic that we're standing here begging for crumbs to save this place for film culture. It's those independent art house cinemas that are utterly vital and the fact that they're getting squeezed out is a tragedy. Kenny had made five million dollars at the box office. I still owed my investor 250,000 bucks. So what hope have you got? It's a fight to ward off the American blockbusters. Don't tell me that's a good way for a country to operate. It is humiliating. It's a huge crisis. So many independent cinemas are used to receiving instructions. It's the people behind the scenes that have to fit what the audience wants. What needs to be addressed urgently is creating a culture rich with innovation. This place represents hope. They won't like me for saying it, but I'm afraid it's the truth. In late November, the Honourable Richard Miles, Parliamentary Secretary for Pacific Island Affairs, made a visit to Tarawa. With 101 registered children, the school is the only organisation in Kiribati catering for the needs of those with disabilities. For the past two and a half years, Australian government support with core funding has enabled the school to keep its doors open. Thank you for coming and visiting our school. Warm welcome to you this morning. This is our time to give our word of appreciation and gratitude to the Australian government. The work that's being carried out uh, is fantastic, absolutely fantastic, by both uh, the Ikiribas uh, teachers and also those uh, Australian volunteers who are participating in, in the work of the school. But if you're talking about feeling proud to be an Australian, it was hard to beat the experience of being at the Kiribati School for the Disabled this morning and to see how the Aussie dollar is being spent. I, I felt very proud indeed. Mary Mere is from the Kiribati Ministry for the Environment and she's studying for a master's degree in environmental law. I get to come here and learn more skills that I think I can contribute to my country for environment protection. When I first came here, you know, I realized that I have like limited, you know, knowledge on, you know, many things. Like I learned that I can learn more. In November, Mary was one of the 30 who gathered in Canberra to receive the Prime Minister's Pacific Award. Congratulations and welcome, and uh, to use this opportunity to, to talk to your, to your colleagues and I think start to build those sort of informal networks that I hope that will endure uh, for many years to come. For over 40 years, the Marine Training Centre here on Tarawa has been training graduates to enter employment in the international maritime industry. MTC, as it's more commonly known, is one of the most impressive educational and employment generating institutions in Kiribati. But gaining access to MTC is only the beginning. And for most trainees, the first few weeks are something of a major culture shock. The biggest challenges for the MTC and now the instructors is to teach them of the proper time management, to teach them that uh, Five o'clock, it's a five o'clock, not five and forty-five. I'm not used to do things on time. I, sometimes we used to go late, especially when we have to attend any parade or class. 
we get late to class because we're not used to, to time. Uh, I mean, the time is rushing, rushing us. It's like it forces us to do things on time which we don't used to. That's very good, keep it up. But it's giving very good results and after the first two or three months, uh, most of the trainees are complying very well with all the rules, so there is no any uh, serious breaking of the rules after that. When you've got a problem, some people might take one look and walk away. Others like to come up with really creative solutions that only make a bigger mess. There are those who can dazzle you with technological know-how, but still not give you the results you want. At Crystal Approach, we look at a problem from all angles and work out long-term solutions that can improve your organisation's performance and keep everyone happy. I'll let that go to voicemail. Hey! I have to slow You've down You've totally got to come to this party. If I'm picking up Josh now, pick and Civic, Josh I need to turn right <laughs> somewhere yeah, around. No, I better take it easy be here. It's hard to <laughs> no, see I'll around this corner. Now. In your own words, can you tell me your version of what took place that night? That Joel. Joel? Joel can look after himself. He's the most together guy I know. Yeah, if you ask me, he doesn't look like the kind of person who's about to commit suicide. Yeah, but does she? She looks like she's capable of anything. Your friend's a freak, you know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah don't, don't worry, I can handle her. I can handle her. If I were you, I'd just stay the fuck away from her. Very stressful day. But I hope that I can make it a really special night for you. You're gonna go along and not say a thing. Why should I? It's their life. 